All right, so if Bobby does arrive here, um, Christian, your um, Tigress and Master Croc. Cool. And Mastermind, your Poe. All right. And the roles, of course, the roles that we that we that you don't have, the minor roles, yeah, we just take turns. So it goes me, Mastermind, and Christian. Right. And well, another thing, it's only just this. <laughs> next next week, of course, like next month to be exact. Yeah, we're gonna have some real fun. Yep, it's that time of year again. <laughs> Okay, and go. Who's it? Oh, it's just, okay. Yeah, Lana, go. Right. Make sure that you do remember. All right. Lana, go in ancient China. The peacocks ruled over Gunman City. They brought great joy and prosperity to the city, for they had invented fireworks. But their son, Lord Shan, saw darker power in the fireworks. What had brought color and joy could also bring darkness and destruction. Shan's troubled parents consulted a soothsayer. She foretold that if Shan continued down this dark path, he would be defeated by a warrior of black and white. The young lord set out to change his fate, but what he did next only sealed it. Shan returned to his parents full of pride, but in their faces, he only saw horror. He was banished from the city forever. But Sh Shen swore revenge. Someday he would return, and all of China would bow at his feet. It's almost done, Lord Shen. But we've run out of metal. Search the father's villages. Find more metal. China will be mine. Pretty good impression. Yeah, that's right. It is. And then the dragon warrior joined the Furious Five. And and they became the most, most awesomest kung fu team ever. <clears throat> and they're tuck. Let's fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, listen. You can hear the dragon warrior training right now. 33. 33. Stop him. 34. It's too dangerous. 35. 35. Stay focused. 36. 36. 37. 37. How is he doing that with his face? 38 win one. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. You monster! Keep going. Hit 40. He'll never fit 40. You got it, buddy. I'll put I'll put it up to 40. Do it. No problem. One moment. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Poe. Your train has paid off. Oh, Master. <laughs> All right.
serious lyrics with a somber tone that paints a picture of fragile hope and optimism. Until then, we'll have to muddle through somehow. Okay, I am sorry about that. No, it's cool. All right. Yeah, good. Oh, Master Shifu, gotta go. See you later. You'll save those for me, right? Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, you're, you're Shifu, too. Inner peace. Inner peace. <laughs> Inner peace. Master Shifu. Master Shifu, what do, what do we got? Pirates? Vandals of Volcano Mountain? Whatever it is, I will take it, them down. Cause I'm, cause I'm in a mood. I need to get something done. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, what are you doing? What Master Uguay's final teachings? <laughs> Whoa, awesome! How did you? Whoa, awesome! How did you do that? Inner peace. Inner peace. That's cool. Inner peace of what? It's. It is the next phase of your training. Every master must find his path to inner peace. Some choose to meditate. For 50 years in a cave, Eve, just like this. The without the slightest taste of food or water. Or some find through pain and suffering. As I did, Poe. The day you were chosen as the Dragon Warrior was the worst day of my life. By far, nothing else came close. It was the worst, most painful, mind-destroying, horrible moment. Okay? I have experienced. I have ever experienced. But once I realized the problem was not you, but within me, I found inner peace and was able to oh, harm, harness the, the flow of the universe. So that was it. I just need inner peace. My innards are already super, super peaceful. So all I need to do is just get this thing going. Inner peace. You're going down. Now show me what, what you were doing. Now show me what you're doing with your feet again. I, I saw you do sort of fancy foot thing. Poe, bandits approaching the musician's village. Danger. Tell those musicians to start playing some action music. Because it is on. Don't worry, Master Shifu. I'll master inner peace as soon as I get back. No snack stops this time. <laughs> snack stops. Wait, are you serious? Dong, 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 dong. <laughs> okay, that, that, was, that was hilarious. <laughs> get all the metal you can find. Grab the metal. Help, 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 help! That's everything. Let's get out of here. Oh, no. woo Wings of justice! Ah! Woo! Oh! Ah! 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 Yeah! Huh? 
Yeah, the dragon warrior. Yeah, dragon warrior. Huh? A panda? That's impossible. My fist hungers for justice. That was my fist. Get him! Come on! Ball. Ooh, yay! Take that! Uh, uh, oh, it's coming! Thanks, Mantis. Yeah! Tigress, double death strike! Ah, ah, feet of fury. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Yeah, we got the jam in the first one. Yep. Huh. Tigress, viper, monkey, mantis, bunny. Oh, what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Crane, go! I'm on it. Oh! Is everybody okay? Don't worry, I got this. Oh! He wasn't done yet, though. All right. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. no. I mean, like, like he wasn't done crying, Christian. Mm. All right, now go. Oh. <laughs> Chew on that, Tubby. Are you okay? What happened? I think I saw. I think I gotta go. <laughs> thank you, thank you for coming to the Dragon Warrior noodles and tofu. More lemon sauce? If you need something, just ask. Thank you. Feet oh, yeah. of fury. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So the, the Dragon Warrior's mop. He mopped these very floors. Ah, uh, uh, no touching. You'll get the mop dirty. Um, that's fine. You know, he once waited on me. Awesome. Yeah, I like that's supposed to be Christian. Like, yeah. Okay. Re remember, guys, the minor roles, it goes me, Mastermind, and Christian. Okay. okay. All right. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's still you since, you know. Right. Go ahead, Mastermind. All right. Um, yeah, I have I have a uh, a, a stain to prove it. Hey, where? Hey, where? Where is the dragon warrior? Oh, he doesn't work here anymore. He is busy out there protecting the valley. <gasps> the dragon warrior. <sighs> Paul, you should have told me you were coming. Hi, Dad. I would have asked you some stinky tofu. But it saved you some sake, you fool. Uh, Dad, can I talk to you? Of course, son. In honor of my son, free tofu dessert for everybody. Woo! Yes! Yeah. With purchases. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's so good to see you, Paul. Have you lost weight? I could almost put my wings around you. Um. Uh, yeah, well, maybe a little. Oh, poor you. You must feel weak. Let me give you some soup. Oh, that's okay, Dad. I'm not hungry. Not hungry? Poor, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. N no, I'm fine. It's just... Earlier today, I was fighting these bandits. Uh-huh. Nothing too dangerous. They were just... Yeah. And then, strangest thing happened. I had a crazy vision. I think I saw my mom and me as a baby. Oh, wow. A baby? 
uh, Dad, how how did I say this? How do I say this? Where did I come from? Well, you see, son, uh, baby geese come from a little egg. Don't ask me where the egg comes from. Dad, that's not what I meant. I know it's not. I think it's time I told you something I should have told you a long time ago other than my secret ingredient soup. <laughs> okay. You might you might have been kind of uh, uh, adopted. I knew it. You knew? Oh, who told you? No one. I mean, c come on, Dad. But if you knew, then why didn't you ever say anything? Why, why didn't you, you, why didn't you say anything? How did I get here, Dad? Where did I come from? Actually, you came from this. It was just another day at the restaurant, time to make the noodles. I went out to the back where my vegetables has just been delivered. There were cabbages, turnips, radishes. Only there were no radishes. Just a very hungry baby panda. There was no note. Of course you could have eaten it. I waited for someone to come along, come looking for you. But no one did. I brought you inside. Fed you. Gave you a bath. I fed you again. And again, Hi. I tried to put some pants on you. <laughs> and then I made the decision that would change my life forever. To make my soup without radishes. And raise you as my own son, Xiao Po. My little panda. And from that moment on, both my soup and my life had been that much sweeter. So that's his full name, Zhao Po. I mean, yeah, like I did put that in in the Only in the Mantle episode of The Furious Five and Poe. Hmm. And little Po, that's the end of the story. Look at me. No, don't look at me. That's it. That can't be it. There's got to be more, Dad. Well, there's, there's the time you ate all my bamboo furniture. It was, imp it was <laughs> imported, too. <laughs> one, one dumpling, please. Dragon Warrior size. <laughs> oh, Paul, the story may not have been... It may not have such a happy beginning... But look how it turned out! You got me! You got Kung Fu! And you got noodles! I know, I just have so many questions, like, how did I ever fit in this tiny basket? Why don't, why don't I like pants? Didn't I? Oh, Bobby's here. Oh, alright. Oh, he is? Uh, hey, Pope! How's it going, bro? All right. How's your Thanksgiving? It was okay. Mine was good too. You sure that you're good? Because is there a problem? No, 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 no. Every everything's fine. Well, glad to see that. Excuse me. What? What? Wait, what did he say? He said, excuse me, because I think he muted himself. Like, I think he's doing something. Okay, I'm back. Oh, there he is. By the way, did you? By the way, I got something uh, cool on Black Friday. What? I got a Warrior Wear Move It. Oh, I've seen uh, cutscenes of that. How did it go? I love the WarioWare games. Well, mostly I had Advance, like on the Game Bo WarioWare on Game Boy and Twisted. 
Quick, okay. Okay. I tried. I tried WarriorWare Smooth Moves at a friend's house. I'm playing uh, the second. I played it a second time, and boy, it's hard. That's what she said. Okay. Speaking of which, last night on Instagram, um, this one was like talking about this pumpkin pie, whatever it is, and she said. Uh, it's hard, and then the guy was like laughing so hard, he sounded like a fly and a horse at the same time. <laughs> yeah, and uh, let me find it on Instagram. Oh, wait, guys, I'm, I'm halfway, I'm halfway done on my animation. But like, like how halfway? Well, wait. If you guys have you guys seen my post about that crossover poster I made of Ben Tennyson with Deku? I think I kind of remember one time. Really? One time reason. Well, I'm making a fan animation of that, and I'm making it fair, so no ops. But I'm halfway. But I am halfway done. I'm now on Alien number six. I'm not going to spoil it because I want you guys to be surprised. But it's okay. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, if you can't find it, then you, uh, if, if you can't find what you're looking for on Instagram, Christian, then you could just, well, Oh, yeah, I'll do it another time. Okay. Anyway, those are all your roles, Bobby. Paul, Tegris, Mr. Croc, and Wolf Boss. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down. Let me say it again. Yeah, well, it's, it's in the private chat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well, keep it there. Hold on. Uh, that's and all right and bobby i have my wi-fi back yay yep i'm, I'm glad that puts a smile on your face mm-hmm <laughs> That was supposed to be a joker. Well, okay. Yes. Even though, even though he's supposed to just jangle bells, Batman smells, Robin yeah. laid an egg. All right. So yeah, you can jump on my profile picture. That's right. those are the only. Ways, Anyways, yeah. Let's go ahead and continue. <clears throat> right. Shen. Shen. Good, af good afternoon, gentlemen. Now that we've got the pleasantries out of the way, please leave my house. Your house? Yes, did you not see the peacock on the front door? Ah, there you are, soothsayer. It seems that your fortune-telling skills were not as good as you thought. We shall see, Shen. No, you shall see, old goat. Oh, uh, where were we? What do you want, Shen? What is rightfully mine? Gungman City! Gungman is under the stewardship of the Master's Council, and we will protect it even from you. <laughs> I am so glad you feel that way. Otherwise, I have been dragged that here for nothing. What's in the box, Shen? Well, you see, it's a gift. It's your parting gift. In that way, it will part you. Part of you here, part of you there, part of you way over there, staining the wall. You insert fool. <clears throat> yeah, fight, 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 fight. Show off. That is a warning. You are no match for our Kung Fu. I agree. But this is. Um, 
Are you familiar with the master of Gongmen City? <gasps> you mean Master Thundering Rhino? Yes. Son of the legendary Master Flying Rhino? Yes. And Slayer of the 10,000 Serpents of Valley of Woe? He's dead. <gasps> Whoa. That's impossible! Rhino's horn defenses are impervious to any technique. This was no technique. Lord Shen has created a weapon. One, one that breathes fire and spits metal. Unless he is stopped, this could be the end of Kung Fu. But, but, but I just got Kung Fu. And now you have to save it. Go destroy this weapon and bring Lord Shen to justice. Yeah, let's go. Let's, whoa, 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 wait a second. How can I do this? I mean, how can Kung Fu stop something that stops Kung Fu? Remember, Dragon Warrior, anything is, is possible when you have inner peace. In her peace, in her peace, in her peace. Peace on! Oh! I have a travel, I have a travel pack. I pack you food for weeks. Cookies, buns, vegetables, and I even pet all of your action figures. See? <laughs> oh, uh, hey, 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 I don't know what those are. Never seen them before in my life. <laughs> uh, uh, Dad, you got scratches on my tigress. I also had your paintings of our best times together just in case you get lonely. That's me and you making noodles. That's me and you eating noodles. And that's me and you giving you a piggyback ride. Isn't that cute? I'll take it out. I think I have uh, I think I'll hang on to this one. Uh, yeah, hey, uh, they're, they're waiting for me. Of course, of course. You have a job to do far from home. A strange city filled with strange people and strange noodles. Facing horrible danger from which you might never return. Don't go, Paul! Look, I gotta go. I'm the Dragon Warrior. It's kind of my job to save Kung Fu. Kung Fu. And if I don't, what am I? You're my son! Right? Po, it's time. Uh, goodbye. Don't worry, Mr. Ping. I'll be back before you can say noodles. Noodles. Aww. Mama? Oh, Mom? Dad? Is that you? <laughs> Mom! Dad! <sighs> oh, <laughs> hey, son, you're back. Huh? Honey, what are you doing here? What, but, but I thought we replaced you, dear, with this lovely radish! Hmm? Radish? It's quiet, polite, and frankly, does better kung fu. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Radish, 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 radish! Yeah! In her peace. Peace. Ah! Ah! Inner peace, 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 inner My screen. Mm -hmm. 
Something wrong with the screen? Is my screen frozen again? I can see it. I mean, like from Bobby's side, because I'm like, we're just, we're just like waiting, and then. Yeah, it, oh, it's just it just lagged again. I'm ready. Okay, so serious. <laughs> I I think I prefer the mast. Apologies. I used to punch the ironwood trees by the palace to train. Now I feel nothing. That's severely cool. Again. <laughs> so, uh, this punching ironwood trees, how long do you have to do that? 20 years. Oh, oh, to tw twenty years? Is there any, uh, you know, faster way, you know, until you know, don't feel anything? <laughs> no. <sighs> I don't think hard style is your thing. Oh, Poe, why are you really out here? I just found out that my dad isn't really my dad. Your dad, the goose. That must have been quite a shock. Yeah. And this bothers you? Were you kidding? We're warriors, right? Nerves of steel. Souls of platinum. Like you. So hardcore, you don't feel anything. I was. Uh... So, what are you guys talking about? Oh, uh, n nothing, nothing. Post having daddy issues. Man, I'm so lucky. I don't have any problems with my dad because maybe it's because mom ate his head before I was born. I don't know. Yeesh. Oh. That. Yikes. Yeah, that's what they do. Po Mantis, this isn't about you. Poe is the one freaking out. Look, I'm not freaking out, Poe. I'm freaking in, Poe. What? We're here. Gongman City. My father's throne. He used to let me play here beside him, promising someday that this throne would be mine. A little to the left. And uh, let's see. So, like, I'll uh, I'll take it. Oh, but it's so heavy, Master. That's what your mother said. <laughs> the, the Thirty years I've waited for this moment. Everything must be exactly how I envisioned it, and I envisioned it a little to the left. <laughs> Perfect. With the weapon by my side. Up a little bit more. Yeah. With the weapon by my side, all of China will bow before me. We move on in three days when the moon is full and the tide is high. <laughs> now, you old goat, why don't you tell me my... Fortune. F fortune. I was going to say fortune. Look into your bowl and tell me what glory awaits. Uh, he said fortune. It's supposed to be future. Uh, well, like fortune, future, just um, maybe just ad libbing a little bit. But for, <laughs> my fortune, future, future for the fortune, and vice versa. You already get the deal. Just tell me my freaking fortune. Future. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> if you continue on your current path, you will find yourself. At the bottom of the stairs. Ugh. Ugh. I see. I see. I see. Pain. Ow! And anger. 
Mm. How dare you? This is the finest silk in the province. Followed by denial. This is the fortune telling. You're just saying what's happening right. Now. Ugh. The most important time is now. But if you really want to see the future. Oh, what do you see? Do you see what I see? <laughs> do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Oh, man. A peacock. Oh, the it's just the... Peacock? It what? Great. Let me... Oh, wait, the streaming service peacock? Oh, it is great. Let me tell you all about it. <laughs> Hey, have you ever have you ever heard met the guy that invented the that invented it? His the first name was Drew. Oh. Mm. It's defeated by a warrior black and white. Nothing has changed. That's impossible. And you know it. It is not impossible, and he knows it. Whew. <clears throat> Lord Shun, we saw a panda. A panda? A, a kung fu warrior. He, he fought like a he fought like a demon, big and furry, soft and squishy. Kind of plush and cuddly. Damn! There are no more pandas. Even with his poor eyesight, he can see the truth. Why is it that you cannot? Find this panda and bring him to me! Yes, yeah, 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 sir. So, one panda still lives. That does not make you right. You're right. Being right makes me right. Then I will kill him. And make you wrong. Will you stop that? I can't help it. I'm a girl. I draw on everything. Draw yeah. this nuts. <laughs> Even that girl agrees. <sighs> this, that must be Shen's palace on the other side of the city. All right, we march into the palace and proclaim, we are the Dragon Warrior and the Fury is fine, and we're here to bring you to justice. Hey! What are you doing? This place is crawling with wolves. See, they're literally crawling. Hey, isn't that the guy who hammered you in the face? I do not like that guy. We need to get to that tower where, but without being spotted by those wolves. Got it. Stealth mode. Uh, okay, so uh, wait. So whose turn was it to go? Let's see. I I believe since master since mastermind was the gorilla, so that makes it Bobby's turn with the wolf. Not the wolf boss, but just a random wolf. All right. Okay. So order is mastermind, Christian, me, and you. Dude, look. I I'm just, I'm just saying, like for today. Look here, the minor rolls. It says it right there. Clear as crystal. Okay. All right. So go ahead, so Bobby. Yeah. So yeah, it starts with me, mastermind, you, and Christian. All right. All right. So go ahead, Bobby. <clears throat> oh, hey, get out of the way. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, oh, oh. I, I can't go. But... <laughs> okay. Anyway, where was I? Where's Poe? How can you how can you lose a guy that big? Guys. Guys. Hey, Poe. Oh. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So, that was stealth mode, huh? 
let's be honest, not one of my stronger modes. Hey, this race is raw! But you stole all my metal pots for Lord Shen. <laughs> Either you cook my rice, or I cook you. Poe, do something! Hey, you, missed. you missed. Oh, okay. My apologies. Poe, do something! How am I supposed to help her cook rice without getting caught? Oh, wait, I have a better idea. One... Hey. Hey. We're here, we're here to liberate the city and bring Shen to justice. You will need help. Thank you, brave sheep. But it's too dangerous. I can't let you... Oh, not me. It's not safe to speak here. Right. <laughs> I'm talking about Messer Ox and Croc. They're in Gundam Jail at ba Black Dragon Alley. What? They're still alive? They must be in the jail gathering intelligence, hatching a plot to use their awesomeness instead to defeat the weapon. Okay, let's go. Thanks, Sheep. Huh? Hey! Stop that costume! <laughs> Take that! <laughs> no! Gotcha! Spread out! Search everywhere! What about over there? Is there a part of anywhere? Um, I guess. Then search there! They must be close. I can feel a kung fu chill riding up my spine. Sorry, Poe. It's just me. Look. Gongmen Jail. Oh, it's cute. Cute! <sighs> nice work, Poe. At the first sight of trouble, I've, I'll give you a sight, a, a signal. Kakao, kiki. You mean like Crane does? Yeah. Excuse me. When have I ever made that noise? Oh, Master Ox, Master, oh, 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 the famous Master Croc, and Master yeah. Stormy. Ah. Uh, I can't believe it. We're rescuing the actual legends of Kung Fu. But we're gonna need to free you from these bo those bonds of justice. No problem. <laughs> Gotta be a key around here somewhere. No, they wouldn't leave a key around here. Yeah. <sighs> oh, great! You found it. Uh, all right, let's go. We're coming for you, Shen. Woo hoo! Woo hoo hoo hoo! Woo hoo hoo! Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Guys, we going or not? You want to meet? Do you want to meet us there later? I mean, if you want to take you, you do want to take back your city, right? Of course we do. But if, but if we, but if we stand up to Shen, he will turn the he will turn the weapon on the city. What? Listen to yourselves. You're protecting Gunman City. We're not protecting Gunman City. If we all fight together, then the weapon will kill everyone. Oh, would it? Uh, then we'll use a a sneak attack. We'll get inside, and then and then you'll be stopped by by the unstoppable weapon. Nothing's unstoppable except for me when I. Hey, when I'm stopping you, I'm telling me something's unstoppable. <laughs> oh, Master Ox, I'm not letting you stay in this cell. I'd like to see you get me out. <clears throat> you guys see that? Uh, hey, you guys see that? It's called being awesome. 
Oh, come on. Whatever happened to being heroes? The only hero in this town is a dead one. Like I said, they're not getting us out of, our, out of this cell. Oh, I guess you managed to do so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, let's go. I get, I get top bunk. It's time to surrender, Panda. Kung Fu is dead. You, Kung Fu is just, just fine. You stay in your prison of fear with bards made of hopelessness. And all you get in there are three squares of meal each day of shay with despair for dessert. We'll take on Shen and prove to all, all those who are hungry for justice and honor that Kung Fu still lives. Yeah. <sighs> Monkey. And he's out. Oh, wait, he's here. Sorry, mm. Mastermind. Uh, I accidentally left. I accidentally like dropped my phone and I accidentally hit the leave button. It didn't break, did it? No. Oh, good, good. Ooh. All right. Anyways, Kaka! You! You're mine. Well, I'll tell you what's going to be yours my fist and your bush cuddly super soft face. Yeah! Uh oh. <laughs> Get him! Get me out of here! Yes, sir. Po go, Po, go! Lose him! Yes, sir! Viper! Hang on! Oh. Okay. Watch out! <sighs> A very uncool. We'll try this. How about something small? Oh, no, no, no! Your body's off the fridge. Oh, oh. Fire! <sighs> We lost him. No, that's me. No, that's that's it. That's oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. We lost him. Oh, crane, catch! Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, guys, 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 guys! Give me a shove, mantis, now. Yeah. Is that the best you got? Because I feel like I'm finding a big old fluffy cloud. Well, this cloud's about to bring the thunder. Gotcha. Ow, 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 ow. Why, why there? Why, why so many signs? Come here, a la squash. Come here, a la -ca squash. -o. Yes, taste the defini. And let me tell you something. Next time you mess with the panda, you better bring a whole lot of. Whole lot of what, big? What now? Just nobody told you. You mess with the wolf, you get the fangs. Now, I've got to hit you twice. What are you going to do now? Wait, surrender! You can't huh. chain my body, but you'll never chain my... royal spirit. Hey, don't forget the little guy. Did you just call me? Poe, what are you doing? Don't worry. I got it. No way. No way. Wait, I've got 
It uh, point acupuncture cuffs, just like the one they all all tie long. Oh, the more the more you move, the tighter they get. Uh, these are the best cuffs. Greetings, Panda. At last we meet. Oh no 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 no. We meet at last. Yes, that's it. Greetings, Panda. We meet at last. You're afraid for a reason. I am not afraid. He's coming to me in chains. If anyone should be afraid, it's... You. Don't you even think about it. I hope this turns out better than your plan to cook rice for your, in your stomach by eating it raw and then drinking boiling water. Oh, this pl Look, this plan is nothing like that plan. How? Because this one's gonna work. Keep moving! Ah, my old enemy. Stairs. <laughs> Thanks for carrying me these last few flights. Uh, I threw up a little on the third floor. Somebody might want to clean that up. Is there some sort of evil gin or something? Greetings, Panda. We meet at... Hey, how you doing? <sighs> hey. You've grown up bigger than I thought. Strong. Healthy. Look, I, okay, look, I don't know who you are, but please step aside, sir. That's a lady. Oh, oh, sorry that the beer threw me off. It's kind of misleading. False advertising. Enough of this nonsense. Bring the prisoners to me. Oh, well, get ready, guys. Keep your eyes peeled for the weapon. Hey, we did it. We, did, you see, did you guys see that? Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> you really think that this is the warrior destined to defeat me? I do not. I know he is. Look at him! A lifetime to plot his revenge, and he comes to me on his knees! Hey, 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 wait. Hey, I did not have a lifetime. We only heard about Master Thundering Rhino a few days ago. We came to avenge him! You've come to avenge nothing else? Yeah, uh, all the pots and pans you stole. We're gonna want those back. Nothing else? You probably did some other evil stuff on the way. I don't know. What? What? What else did he do? You don't know. No way. <laughs> well, well, what's what's so funny? Precisely the thing that you clearly uh, do not. Not pause. My mom's coming. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Uh -huh. Number two, Silent Night. Speaking of Silent Night, did you guys see that trailer? Oh, yeah. really like famous Christmas carol oh, gun shooting, like action yeah. version of Silent Night. One of the I mean, there's also Violent Night, like they had like John Luke was in it. I, mean, it I remember like that. That was, that's pretty good. Yep. And there was also one from the 90s. I think it was from the 90s. It was called Silent Night, Deadly Night. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Carol focuses oh. on the aspect of the holiday with lines about the Virgin Mary and the infant Jesus. Soldiers from England, France, and Germany actually began the Christmas truce of World War I by singing Silent Night in the legendary ceasefire of December 1914, oh, which is a I testament guess. to its power oh, right. and endurance. Attend any 
Christmas Eve Mass, and there's a great chance you'll hear this hauntingly beautiful melody. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. It's the most wonderful time of the year. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Oh wait, so uh, let's see, let me just quickly just get this out of the way up into mm -hmm. oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. Happy holidays everyone. I'm Trey Parker and I'm Matt. Matt Stone that is. <laughs> You're a nut is what you are. <laughs> We want to welcome you to the South Park Holiday Special. You know, Trey, the holidays have always been special to South Park. Remember, it was a Christmas short that we made that started this whole wacky adventure. That's true. I've always loved spending Christmas with my family. And Matt's Jewish, so he loves whatever he does. Hey, there's some kids caroling out there. Oh, yeah. Hey, shut up! We're trying to do stuff in here! <laughs> well, let's start off this run the way the holiday season starts with the very first Thanksgiving episode that we ever made. This is our favorite episode because it's a lap-filled lump about starving people in Africa. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, sit back, relax, and enjoy Starvin' Marvin. Noel, Noel, Noel. Hi! <laughs> Wait, hey guys, I saw the gameplay trailer for South Park Snow Day. And, and how was it? Pretty good. Oh, I mean, like, it did interest me a little bit, so I'll see what I can find. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, or the fields we go, that big on a guy, guy, rah! Whoa, oh. guy, what's the matter? Well, I don't know, Matt. It just feels like our holiday special isn't so special. You know what you mean. It seems to be missing something. Mr. Yep. Hanky! Happy holidays, friends! Boy, we're glad you're here, Mr. Hanky. Our Christmas special is starting to suck ass. Come give us a kiss! <laughs> oh. Hey, Matt. Who am I? <laughs> oh, so. Oh, so. Christmas special is going great! Well then, Mr. Hanky. Let's take a look at the episode that made you famous. Oh, that sounds swell. There it is, then. Mr. Hanky, the Christmas Pooh. Dashing through the snow, in a one horse open sleigh, or the fields we go, laughing all the way. Deck the halls with bells of holly, la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la. Here's the season to the I don't know, it just still feels like something's missing from our holiday special. Yeah, but I don't know what it is. Oh, 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 oh. Santa! Merry Christmas, everyone. We didn't think you were going to show up, Santa. The doctor said you were still throwing up and bleeding out your ass. Santa's all better now. All right! I just thought I would come oh. by and see if I could spread some holiday cheer. Hey, look at Santa in there. Oh, kids are back. Get out of here! Santa doesn't want to be around a bunch of kids! Say, Santa, what makes a holiday so special for you? Well, when I think about the holidays, I think about sleigh rides and holly, mistletoe, and Charlie Manson mass murderer. That's right! No holiday season is complete without Chuck. Well then, why don't we watch South Park Christmas special number two? Merry Christmas, Charlie Manson! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, what's wrong? Well, I'm sorry.
sorry, Santa, but it feels like there's still something missing from our holiday special. It sure does. Behold my glory. Jesus Christ! Oh, man! Thanks for showing up, Jesus. Yea, look upon me and know me, for I am the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, now I feel like our special is really getting muy especial. Yea, but on this Christmas, let us not forget that there are those dying from war and disease. Ugh. Ooh. What a bummer. Well, thanks a lot, Jesus. You ruined Christmas. Again. Hey, come on, gang. We're not going to let Jesus spoil our Christmas, are we? Let's liven things up with some holiday songs. Yeah. Here's some classics from our Christmas CD entitled Mr. Hanky's Christmas Classics. I was just saying, let's not forget Shut the up, unfortunate... Jesus. Now you be nice to Mr. Hanky on Christmas or <laughs> 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 Dude, what? We've got everybody here. I know. I'm sorry, gang. It's just that well, we've come to the end and it feels like there's still something missing from our holiday special. Well, what could it be? Peanut butter? No. Snowmen? No. no. Peace on Earth. Dad? Oh. Children? Get out of here! I know what your holiday special is missing. What, Chef? Elizabeth Hurley. Elizabeth Hurley! Nope. Hi! Oh. All right! <laughs> She's here! She's here! Wow, now it feels like the holidays. God, God, God. What? That's not Elizabeth Hurley, that's a cutout. Who cares, dude? She brought mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? Wait a minute. Now that tastes like the holidays. Break out the mayonnaise, right. everybody. Should all the Christmas be forgotten and never brought to Oh, no. I'm going to do that Simpsons quote. Won't someone please think of the children? Yep, nice touch. Thanks. Tis the season for cartoon shenanigans. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Cartoon Network Christmas specials. Let's do this every day. Uh, how about once a year? <laughs> okay. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking back at some of our favorite Cartoon Network holiday chestnuts that tickled our winter funny bones, warmed our hearts, and in more than one case, got our adrenaline flowing. If these episodes haven't been found in your stockings yet, there will be spoilers. Number 10. Dexter vs. Santa's Claus – Dexter's Laboratory Dexter is hell-bent on proving to Dee Dee that Santa Claus is a farce, convinced that it's really just their dad in disguise. Stupid Dee Dee, a thousand happy elves, not Paul Hat! I will prove to her before this Christmas Eve is over that my theory is correct. However, in an unexpected turn of events, Dexter's theory is discredited. Santa is real, and the little genius's campaign has ruined his family's Christmas. Fans weren't very fond of this episode because of the mean-spirited humor, coupled with Dexter's stubbornness and violent treatment of the jolly old elf. But if you don't take this special too seriously, you'll get an entertaining holiday showdown that dares to go above the typical preachy holiday norms about goodwill and peace on Earth. You blockhead! That's not what Christmas is about! It's not? Then what is it about? The presents. Ho, ho, ho! Number 9. Operation Naughty. Codename Kids Next Door. 
The delightful children from down the lane frame the kids next door in order to steal all of Santa's presents for themselves. Hey, what are you doing? Once their scheme is uncovered, it's up to the combined efforts of the KND and Santa's elves to save Christmas from their goody-goody enemies. And a corrupt, unappreciated number three. This is unarguably one of the most unique Christmas specials on the network, paying homage to our favorite Marvel comics to create an action-packed and funny holiday tale for the ages that, amid the tension, reminds us that sometimes when it comes to gift-giving, it's the thought that counts. Santa? I know, Kooky. I know. Santa! Get your own fries! Aw, oh, come on. Just one. Number 8. Christmas. The Amazing World of Gumball. It wouldn't be a Watterson Christmas if something didn't go horribly, horribly wrong. In this case, running over a homeless man. Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> Oh. Convinced that the man is an amnesiac <laughs> Santa Claus, Richard tries to get back on the nice list while the kids try to restore Santa's memories, an effort undone by Nicole giving the infamous Santa isn't real talk. But is he really a fake? While Gumball is known for its cynical sense of humor, this special manages to sprinkle in a little bit of hopefulness to capture the spirit of the season, mixed with the usual off-the-wall comedy that makes it all worthwhile. Well, what is it? The most beautiful gift I could ever wish for. It's just like us. Yeah, close enough. Number 7. Camp Kringle, Camp Laszlo During a camp field trip in the snowy mountains, the Bean Scouts come across Santa's workshop and a Santa in very much need of a vacation. Hey! Holy holy, what's that? <laughs> Let's go check it out! Laszlo decides to give Santa his much-earned break at Camp Kidney, but St. Nick falls in love with the place and refuses to leave. Meanwhile, Scoutmaster Lumpus ends up taking over the workshop, which is bad news. This special shows that even Kris Kringle needs some time off, and he can't just give up on his life's work when so many children depend on him. Thankfully, that fact alone gives Santa the energy to take down Lumpus and save Christmas. Oh look, the North Star! Or a meteor, whichever. Number 6. Holly <laughs> Jolly Secrets Adventure Time Finn and Jake decide to have a little private screening of Ice King's discarded video diaries, only to find one of the series' biggest plot twists. Hello, my name is Simon Petrikov. I am recording this tape so that people will know my story. Oh no! Turn it off, Pimo! Turn it off! It's revealed that the Ice King was once Simon, a normal human whose life and mental state was completely changed when he came across the Magic Crown, and he has no recollection of the life he left behind. This two-parter created a massive impact, painting our titular hero's most demented nemesis in a tragic light and prompting them to bring everyone together in a Christmas-like celebration every year to watch videotapes by the fire while donning festive sweaters. Would get together while wearing really big sweaters and watch videos on the floor next to a fire to celebrate the day when Finn and Jake had a fleeting moment of empathy for the biggest weirdo in Ooh. Number 5. The Christmas Special. Regular Show. We just wanna wish you a merry, merry Christmas. Bells jingle, Chris Kringle, wrap your gift like this, son. Rap, 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 rap. Take, take, whoa. The park groundskeepers are enjoying a nice and easygoing Christmas party, but the peace is short lived. Mordecai, Rigby, and the rest of the gang find themselves on a mission from a buffed-up Santa Claus to destroy a cursed magical gift created by an elf out to destroy the holiday. The box is in your hands now. You must destroy it. If Krogan gets it back, he'll use its power to get what he wants most. The destruction of Christmas forever! While not your typical Christmas special, it's just another normal day at the office for our heroes. What starts as a simple celebration turns into a Lord of the Rings-inspired adventure with the future of the season, as well as everyone's lives, hanging in the balance. Number 4. A Lost Clause – Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends Mac and Blue are excited to celebrate their first Christmas at Foster's, until they start to doubt the existence of Santa Claus. That's just it, Blue. I don't think there is a real Santa Claus. While Mac goes through an existential depression, Blue is obsessed with the thought of only getting one present, until he inadvertently ruins everyone else's holiday thanks to his harebrained experiments and a poorly planned Christmas Carol parody. You must pony up and spring for more loot. For that is the true meaning of Christmas. 
Max Little Prices is something that everyone goes through, but that doesn't mean there isn't room for a little Christmas miracle. As for Blue, he should count his blessings to even get one crummy gift with his naughty behavior. The real Santa Claus will never give someone as naughty as you anything but coal. It's undeniable proof. Number three, Billy and Mandy save Christmas. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Christmas is in jeopardy when Santa, voiced by Gilbert Gottfried, is turned into a vampire. I'll swallow your soul! While Billy stays behind to help the toy factory work, Mandy and Grimm must slay the vampire that caused all this. Except, it turns out that the vampire in question is Mrs. Claus, finally driven batty, having to do literally all the work around the workshop. This is exactly what you'd expect from a Billy and Mandy Christmas special. However, it also carries the festive messages about seeing the goodness in others and helping your loved ones when they're overworked, especially if they're stressed, bloodthirsty beasts. Billy also says that all this work is driving you a little batty. Number two, Ed, Ed, and Eddie's Jingle Jingle Jangle. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. In the episode, Falalala Ed, the Eds brought the Christmas of Spirit to the cul-de-sac in July. Surprise! <laughs> what a get, what a get! I love Christmas! But in our very first non-summer episode, it's Christmas time for real, and Eddie is back. particularly yeah. grinchy. He tried- All right, so what I miss? I mean, like, all it was just, like, just, not, not really. I mean, of course, like, the rest of us were just watching just South Park-related stuff and stuff. So. All right. All Anyways, right. let's uh, go. Uh, precisely the thing that you clearly do not know. Okay, enough with these riddles. Would you guys just spill the beans first? The weapon was a tiny <laughs> surprise. It's big, and then the lady over there, I think, is a guy, because she's got a... The only reason you're still alive is that I find your stupidity mildly amusing. Well, thank you, but I find your evilness extremely annoying. Who do you think you are, Panda? Well, who do you think I am, Peacock? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we laughing? Take aim. Oh no. Fire! <laughs> well, light the thing. I did. Fear a bug! Get the weapon! You... You were there? You were there? Yes. Yes, I was. What? You just let Shen get away? Well, at least he... At least we destroyed the weapon. Oh no, he's got he's got more away. He got more away. <laughs> Way more. I mean, like, My way. Not... <laughs> Paul, help! <sighs> Watch out, Paul. Help me pull him up. No, no. Get him down. Use the ropes. Run, run, little panda. Run away and never return, or else I'll blow you up. Poe, po, come on. We need you to focus. Oh, I got it. I got it. Bring it down. We're trapped this way. <laughs> Goodbye. Get back. <sighs> Only way out is up. What? Right. 
Where are they going? To the top. Come on, keep going. Here we go. You idiot! Ow, my nose. Call in the wolves, all of them. I want them ready to move. The year of the peacock begins now. Right now? Because it's the middle of the year, so you only get, like, half of the year of the peacock. And this, and this year, of course, it's the year of the peacock. Happy New Year, sir. Get the wolves ready. We're loading the ships now. Now, 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 now! Oh, move, move, move! This way. You, what did you do? It's chaos up there. Where, what happened to stopping Shin? Yeah. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. Come on. Give me a little credit. I meant for him to get away because uh, it was a trick. It was a plot, and I, I thought I might figure out his plot more. That makes no sense. Well, what do you mean? Sure it does. <laughs> Poe, the truth. You had Shen. What happened? What are you talking about? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, okay, he caught me off guard. <laughs> the truth. Fine. Fine. They will keep you. They will keep you far from danger. Real far. <laughs> what? You're staying here. Wait, 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 wait. I, I have to go back. <laughs> here. I'm going, and you can't stop me. <laughs> okay. I wasn't ready that time. Guys, don't. Ready. Look. Uh. Stay down. Oh, I have to get him. Then tell me why. Oh, he was there. Okay. The peacock was there. Last time I saw my parents. He knows what happened. Where I came from. Who I am. Look, I'm going. I, ha I have to know. The hardcore can't understand. Uh. Tigress, no! <coughs> the hardcore do understand. But I can't watch my friend be killed. <clears throat> um, Christian. Hey, whatever happened to? Oh yeah, I got my stuff back now. Hey, don't be so hard on him. It was a joke. As to mooch off the other kids' Christmases, while Ed and Ed try to show their short-tempered leader the true spirit of the season. Sadly, even when it seems like the message finally sinks in, Eddie may never learn. Christmas ain't about what you find under a tree. Christmas is about what you find in your heart. While the message goes right over Eddie's head, we're still left with a cartoony, hysterical holiday treat, topped off with some cleverly set up yuletide callbacks and a little festive karma. Christmas kisses all around! We ain't talking on the jakes either! <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few festive honorable mentions. How sad to stay fat, man. This gig is hard work. Mom, mom, I know that I was back. Yes. What the? Yeah, thank you. Ooh. My screen froze. Oh. By the way, about those uh, Cartoon Network Christmas specials, which one's your favorite? 
Um, one of them is um the Chatter one. Same here. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, I I still my number one are still the Ben Ten and Christmas specials, the one from original and reboot. Yeah. All right. And I've seen like probably most of those specials. All right. Anyways, let's continue. Hey, uh, maybe you can't watch me be killed. Stop being such a wimp. And she's back. <sighs> Don't worry, kid. You're better off here. You are wrong, Susea. We sail to victory tonight. Your magic panda is clearly a fool. Are you certain it is the panda who is the fool? You just destroyed your ancestral home, Shen. A trivial sacrifice when all of China is my reward. Then you will finally be satisfied. Will the sub... How you say that? Subjugation. Thank you. Subjugation of the whole world finally make you feel better? Mm, it's a start. I might also convert the basements into a dungeon. The cup you choose to feel has no bottom. It is time to stop this madness. And why on earth would I do that? So your parents can rest in peace. My parents hated me. Do you understand? They wronged me. I will make it right. They loved you. They loved you so much that having to send you away killed them. The dead exist in the past. I must attend to the future. Set the soothsayer free. She is no, no, she is of no use to me. Goodbye, Shen. I wish you happiness. Happiness must be taken, and I will take mine. If all those weapons leave the building, China will fall. We bring down the building. Hey guys, how about this? This will work. All right, let's go. I can't feel my face. Did you, did you call it the year of the peacock? <laughs> hey, hey. What? Yeah. Hey. We're. Hey, on your feet and wipe those stupid grins off your faces. Move you dogs faster, faster! Load them all! Greetings, Panda. Oh, tell me what happened that night. What night? That night. Ah, that night. Yes. We're talking about the same night, right? What well, does it even matter? This will be the... For tonight will be your destruction. As well as China. <laughs> well, yes, I was there. Yes, I watched as your parents abandoned you. It's a terrible thing. I believe it when something like this... Now! Here's your New Year's gift. Hope you like it, because you can't return it. Paul? What's he... What is he doing here? Return it! Return it! Are you willing to die to find the truth? You bet I am. Though I prefer not to. 
We got him. Go. Looking for me. Uh, said that too soon, didn't I? Poe. Oh, Poe, get away from him. No more running, Shen. So it seems. Captain. Now, answers. Oh, you want to know so badly. Thinking, thinking knowing will heal you, huh? Feel some crater in your soul. Well, here's your answer. Your parents didn't love you. But here, let me heal you. No! <laughs> yeah, like you're going to get me a drink. And... If I wanted you dead, I would have left you in that river. Why save me? So you can fulfill your destiny. Look, what are you talking about? Where am I? What is this place? I am surprised that you remember so little, but then you were so little when it happened. Perhaps you do remember. What? It's just a stupid nightmare. Nightmare or memory? This was a thriving village. Yun Shen was in line to rule Gen Gunman City, but he wanted more. I foretold that someone would stand in his way, a panda, but I never could have foretold what could come next. Get them all! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's you, Mastermind. Okay. Take, take our son and run away. Go. Stop fighting. Let it blow. <laughs> Ma. Ma. Your story may not have such a happy beginning, but that does not make you who you are. It is the rest of your story, who you choose to be. So, who are you, Panda? I am Poe, and I'm going to need a hat. Such sad, sad faces. But now is a time only for joy. You are going to be part of something beautiful. Once we reach the harbor, in front of all the world, you and your precious Kung Fu will die. Then China will know to bow before me. Set sail! Honestly, guys, I never thought I'd die like this. I always thought I'd meet a nice girl and settle down. And did she eat my head? So sad.
Uh, we we cannot give up hope. Poe would want us to remain strong, hardcore, right, Tigeris? What, Shen? What about the bridge? Nothing stands in my way. Fire! You coward! Poe? Poe? Oh? Poe? How many times do I have to kill the same stacking panda? Jen, a panda stands between you and your destiny. Uh, yeah, like, uh, like, uh... Right here, where it just cuts back between you speaking normally, and I can barely hear you. So, yeah, this. Let me try again. Shen, a panda stands between you. Oh, uh, yeah. What? Prepare yourself for a huh? servant of justice. What? And now, free the five disc of destruction. And oh, were you trying to be uh, Kun Lao for Mortal Kombat? Ah, good one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, take aim. Ready? Just get him. No, 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 don't shoot! No, don't shoot! Uh, don't shoot! Crossfire! Attack! A uh, catch of freedom, monkey! Impressive, Dragon Warrior. What's your plan? Step one: free the five. What's step two? Honestly, I never thought I'd get this far. Paul, uh, stop Shen before he reaches the harbor. Yeah. A viper, puppet of death. Tigress. Uh, huh? Master Ox. And Croc. Ven vengeance is served. Well, why did you... Your friend there is very persuasive. <laughs> Master Shifu! Quickly, use their boats to block block the way. A crane! Wings of justice! Kaka! What? I love you guys. Why are you firing? Uh, they're taking out all our gunners, sir. They're getting close. Fire. Fire. F fire at them. But, sir, we'll kill our own. I said fire at them. Fire. No. Then you die. Oh. Paul. Tigress. As you wish. Let's finish this. Fire! Kill him! Somebody kill him! What? No! Keep firing! Keep firing! Skadoosh. How, how did you... How did you do it? Oh, you know, just keep your elbows up and keep the shoulders loose. Not that. How did you find...
find peace. I took away your parents. Everything. I... I scarred you for life. See, that's the thing, Shen. Scars heal. No, they don't. Wounds heal. Oh, yeah. What do scars do? They fade, I guess? I don't care what scars do. You should, Shen. Because you gotta let go of that stuff from the past. Because it just doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what you choose to be now. You're right. Then I choose this! <laughs> yeah, Ooh. Dragon Boy! Yeah. He did it! He saved us all! Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> that was pretty hardcore. Don't ever do that again, please. It seems that you have found inner peace, and at such a young age. Well, I had a pretty good teacher. Oh, God. Oh, wait, whose turn is it now? Um... um. Um, is it Christian's turn? Wait, 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 you, wait, wait, you were the, wait, you did the wall, so now it's mastermind. Oh, okay. What do you mean he's not here? It's my son's birthday. All he wanted was to meet the dragon warrior. How about some tofu birthday cake instead? Ew. You know what? We'll just get. We'll just try some other time. What do you, when do you think he'll be back? I don't know, okay? I don't know. Maybe never. I mean, I will be okay. I'm his dad, or at least I was his dad. Why did he have to go and save China? I know why, but why? <laughs> My little panda. <laughs> So how did it go? Did you save China? Bobby? Yep. Yep. I knew you would. That's why I had these new posters made. My son saved China. You two can save. Buy one dumb buy one, buy one double and free. <laughs> buy one double and get one free. Hey, that's pretty good deal. But first, there's something I should tell you. While I was gone, I found the village where I was born. I found out how I ended up in that radish basket. You did? I know who I am. You do? I'm your son. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Ah, uh, delicious fat radishes. You're probably hungry. Let me make you something to eat. What are you talking about? I'll cook. No, I'll cook. Dad. It's the least I can do. You saved China. Oh, it's the least I can do. You raised me. Oh. Paul. Wait. Bobby. Dad. Paul. Okay. Let's both cook together. Together? No, I'll cook. <laughs> <laughs> My son is alive. And scene. Uh, that went pretty great. The end. <laughs>